Hello guys, in this video we will take a look at the proxies. So proxies are design pattern. So basically we, what we're looking at is creating an example and we will look at the featured products. We will take the featured products from a category and then if they are less than six, for example, then we will fetch six products from the most sold products in the orders so we will look in the orders but first we will look in the category as featured category and then we will look if they have a maximum number like if the maximum number is six if they are less than six then fetch the six from the orders so let's go ahead and start that so first of all we created the skeleton module we have a controller we have a view and nothing special here we just get a template and then a template says we want to display a featured products so it just display a featured products and then if we say refresh if we just have to cache flush or cache disable full page if we refresh now we should see the feature products anyway this is not our example but what we're looking at is to create this proxy uh, pattern in magento so first of all i'll create a model and this model has a featured products inside it and then the featured products i will have featured interface featured products interface and what we want to do here is to have a interface for the featured products so then interface featured products interface so what we going to have is we are going to get the get feature products and also the count see how how many featured products we have so first of all let's have this public function get featured products and this will returns an array for us and this just returns the featured products and then public function count this will return the count like how many products we have now this is the interface what i'm going to do here is create a class we'll call it featured by category and this class will implement the featured products interface our class featured by category implements the featured products interface and we need to implement those so we just add them now we will have to do the following we define protected array featured products and this will equals probably equals array but as default value which is good now we need to load this so product protected function load featured products and this will return void and what we're going to have is this featured products equals product one and then we will have product two now this feature products equals this suppose these coming from the database which is from the category and then category get featured product and they have to be a six if they are not six or less than six then you will get the featured products from the uh, sales and not from the category now we will have constructor here and then in the constructor we just call this load featured products now we can have this is load once the class is initialized the feature products will be loaded and then we will say return this featured products because they are loaded by now and when we get we will get the count of this feature because they are array then you can call the count and then you can get it now we have this featured product by category the other class we will have featured products by sales so let's do that feature now we call it class featured by sales and implement implements the featured products interface exactly the same as in the featured by category we will have the same methods and then we will have the same load so we can just copy this and paste it in here however these will be um, the product will be sale or sales and then replace all so we just have sales one two three four up to six now we have the load method implemented then we can also have the featured products instance variable was empty and then we will have a constructor and in the constructor we will load the featured products 
and exactly the same thing here we will return this featured products and also we will call the count on the array count this featured products so this is it we are done by both so we implemented the featured by category and implemented the featured by sales now we want to use them so we will use this first this will take priority and if they are less than six then we will load the ones from the featured by sales now we will have featured products as a composite and this will be featured products class and this will be a composite class and now we can create the class as featured products and has nothing here and the only thing it tries to do is public function get featured products and this will return an array and that's it this is the only public function or public method we have in this class now how we get these featured products to get these featured products we will create a constructor and then we inject the by category class and by sales class so we'll take we we'll go to the constructor featured by category featured by category and then featured by sale featured by sales create it and then initialize properties we initialize so let's indent here this will become pretty nasty soon so we will have to adjust it now what we're going to do is if this featured by category count less than less than six then we will get return this featured by sales get featured products else return this featured by category get featured products so if the count is less than six then get me the featured products from the sales if the count is is greater than six then get me the feature products from the category now what we need to do here is create a view model example so we name it example and it's implementing the argument interface from magento block and then we will have a constructor we inject the composite class we created here inside the view model featured products we just port it and also initialize properties and the view model will have get featured method get featured products and returns an array and it will be return this featured products get featured products so this is how we call this in the view model and then we need to inject this view model inside a block and then display the output in the template so if we go to the layout and then if we have a closing tag for block and we will have the argument and the argument is view model and it will be like a object and this will be the class view model example so this is how we set the view model or how we inject the view model inside the block now what we are going to do here is in the featured we will have to loop through those so we will create an ordered list and then we will have a loop for loop for each loop for each block get view model then get featured products as let's name it as sku because they are skus or products and then we just enclose the for each and for each now we will have list and then we output the sku here if we clear cache cache flush layout block html now if we refresh now we have the results back but we have a little issue here the issue is if you look in the model and then featured products the featured by category once the class initialized the loading happens so it will load the featured products from the category and also at the same time the featured products from category are loaded the featured products by sales also loaded because they are in the constructor and once you injected them in the composite they both are loaded and you use this but you also loaded products from sales at the same time so what you have done is you loaded twice this is unnecessary to load because you already have featured the products from the category equals six or greater than six and you can display them and this is pretty fine but also you have loaded products from the sales how we manage or how we fix this problem because we don't want to load this twice we don't want to load this we only want to load it 
when the featured products from the category are less than six so this how the proxy applies and fix this issue so first of all what we're going to do is we create type in the di compile di uh, file the configuration file and we will specify that is the featured by sales are actually proxies so when the page load or the application load it will not load and will not get all the featured products by sales unless you call this method only when you call this method then you will get the class loaded and the featured products will be loaded from the sales to do this is very simple you go to the etc and then you write your di xml file to di and then you put the type the type you targeting is this featured products and you can just copy it and paste it here so the next thing is the arguments the arguments will be featured by sales you will convert these into proxy rather than an actual class injected so it will be proxy and not the actual class and now you specify the type as object and you go to the featured products featured by sales you copy and then you paste here once you paste it you paste the class and then you put proxy at the end of the class once you put the proxy here the word proxy backslash word proxy then it will be proxied and will not load on the page unless the featured products from the category will be less than six so let's flush cache we need config as well at this time because we made changes to the di configuration file and then we load now the same results happens here but the underlying functionality the mechanics is different now because if you go to the code base and you go to the generated from the generated you go to the code and then training and then you will have proxy example you'll have model featured products featured by sale folder you don't find it anywhere in the code but it's just in the generated code and then you will get proxy so this class actually is created out of this class because you specify it here as proxy and this is how it's been created in the generated folder by magento and you can see this proxy extends this class and then whenever you call for featured by sales as injected it will give you this because it's been specified already here now let's go back to the proxy and you will see there's an object manager instance name and then subject and then is shared and in the in the constructor we don't call the parent constructor it's just the constructor of the proxy class and then there is a sleep method we don't need to worry about much about those but the first thing is we need to worry about this get subject it says if there isn't subject so if it is not initialized because it's not being called for the method now you will create it as is shared or create a new basically will be is shared i think is shared the true so it will be shared and every time you call for it you will get the same class so this is how you create it by object manager or magento creates it by object manager get or create so if it is shared then it will just get it and you will always get it because it's shared already so it's initialized only once and now get featured products and it's exactly this featured by sale it's exactly this this method and when you call for it you initialize the subject which is the class and then the products will be loaded and then you call the parent method the subject method get featured products and the same thing with the account now you would reckon when having a look at this class and when you load the page actually this class will never be loaded because it's proxy now and it's only loaded when you hit this line so this is a real fix to the loading issue now if we go to the by category and then we just commit this they will be five now and you will see sales products show instead of the ones from the category so this will be loaded now but if you put these are six items the items from the sales will never load think you get the idea behind the proxies now and i hope this is useful please like and subscribe and i see you next time